What is going on guys? Zuggy Fishing here back to you with another video. Guys, I hope y'all are well. I hope y'all are staying positive. Today I'm going to be talking about what are my favorite topwater baits to throw in the upcoming spring summer season and some cool tips and tricks to help you guys catch some more fish. Before we do that, make sure you guys subscribe and like and comment down below, try and hit 5,000 subscribers. That would be so, so cool. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Zuggy Fishing and follow me on TikTok at Zuggy Fishing for daily posts and content. All right, guys, let's roll the intro and then get right into the video. Water lure that we're going to address is the Whopper Plopper. If you guys don't know, this is what a Whopper Plopper looks like. It's made by River 2C. It is probably by far my favorite top water lure that I've ever used. Basically what it is, it's kind of like a combination between a popper, a buzz bait, and you know, it's just a very versatile kind of bait. So basically this is in that yellow color and I also have a, a silver black color right here. Um, it's a very, very good lure as well. I love all the colors of the Whopper Ploppers. So basically what this lure does, it has this propeller on the back that kind of, that, kind of, that moves like this. And when you cast it out and you reel it in the water, this thing kicks up water and just spins like that. It's really, really cool. This drives the fish crazy, creates that reaction strike and really produces. My favorite way to fish the Whopper Plopper is along banks. Utilize the banks when you're fishing this lure. The bass go nuts for it. And as well as bass, this lure is very versatile, can work for tons and tons of other species, fresh and salt water as well. With this lure, you can just go a straight retrieve, but I also like to pop it and stop it to create that reaction strike. Really, really, really good stuff. Guys, the Whopper Plopper, extremely good, highly recommended topwater lure. All right, guys, the next kind of lure I like to fish it's actually very new to me. I never really thought of it. Like I know it was a thing, but I wouldn't really use it personally, but I have tried it out and it has produced. So right here, I have some Guggenbaits Kraken Craws in the pearl color, and I have a three-aught worm hook. Yeah, guys, basically right now you're probably thinking, you know, how does a craw and a three-aught worm hook turn into a topwater lure? So basically this is what I like to do. I like to take a three, four-aught worm hook, of course, Texas rig the craw, just like if you were gonna fish it on the bottom, put it up there, bring it right through the hook so the top is not exposed, just like that. And then you wanna bend it in and bring it through just like that. You have a weedless Texas rig craw right there. And basically what I like to do with the top water lure, mainly how I work this thing is on the bottom, you know, jigging along the bottom, imitate that crawfish. However, with this kind of lure, it can kind of act like a buzz bait. So basically what I do is cast it on the top and instead of letting it sink down, I kind of bring it on the top of the water and reel it slowly. And what it does is these two claws right here kind of have erratic action like that. So when it's going through the water, these things are kicking up water and creating really, really good action. So the craw is a really good top water bait. Not a lot of people would think that when you reel it through the water, these craws kick up water and you basically want it kind of like a buzz bait kind of almost, same, same kind of deal in action. So the craw, extremely good top water bait. All right, the next top water lure I'm gonna review is the classic buzz bait. This is a chartreuse buzz bait um, from Stride King. And another tip I like to do when throwing the buzz bait is again, utilize the craw or a trailer on the back of it. Many people fish buzz baits, you know, just the way it comes. If you guys don't know how a buzz bait works, there is a propeller on it that if you, if when it goes to the water, it chops up water just like a whopper plopper. And see, if you see this, you can spin it like that. It's basically kind of a propeller type mechanism that chops up water when you reel it on the top. Fish love these things. By far, one of my favorite top water baits, just, just like a whopper plopper chops up water, creates that reaction strike. It's really, really good stuff. And basically the way I utilize the craw, the next one of my favorite topwater lures 
is the spook. The spook is, and this is also a Guggen Squad Hound imitate kind of a spook pencil type bait. They're called pencil type baits because, you know, they're long, they look like a pencil. And basically what these baits do is, I like to uh, use the term walking the dog. So basically what I mean that, you tie this lure on and what you wanna do is pop your rod tip and this lure will basically create a zigzag, zigzag action. And um, that's that reference right there. But the spook, again, erratic action. This is the uh, Zara spook by Hedden. And this is the Guggen Squad Hound right here. Um, two of my favorite, favorite uh, spook baits. So basically what you wanna do is cast this thing out. Again, like I said before, pop your rod tip. And this bait, basically what it will do, it'll start and it'll go left, right, left, right, left. It kind of makes like a Z kind of zigzag action. And it's really, really good. The next lure I wanna review is the Classic Popper. This is the XPS Popper from Bass Pro Shops. One of my favorite brands. I also love the Guggen Squad bloopers. I also like the Booyah poppers, really, really good stuff. So basically what a popper is, there is this curved cupped mouth right here, as you can see, kind of like a cup going in right there. And basically what you do when you cast this out and you take your rod and pop it once, a big array of water kind of splashes over the popper and it really creates really good action, gets the reaction strike out of the bass. They think it's an injured bait fish that's really vulnerable on the top of the surface. So basically what you wanna do, just pop your rod tip and then there'll be all this water that splashes up. What I like to do is let that water pan out and settle again and then pop it again and let that water come up again, Span, pan, pan out and then pop it again. Let that water come up again, Span, pan, pan out and then pop it again. Really, really good stuff. Creates that reaction strike. Again, you're leaving it still and then popping it. It's really, really good stuff. Popper, very versatile bait for anything. One of my favorite top water lures. The final top water lure that I like to throw is the classic frog. I know you guys thought I was gonna miss the frog, but the frog, phenomenal lure. There's two main types of frogs I like to throw. The first one is kind of like the skirted style legs right here. And the second one is kind of more of this like realistic kind of, you know, walking legs like this. And uh, these two frogs, some of my favorite, this is one from Bass Pro Shops. And this is one from Lunker Hunt. I also like the Eat Me Filthy Frog from Guggen Baits. Um, hey y'all, thanks for making it to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Zuggy Fishing. That would be sweet for daily post. I hope you guys enjoyed these tips and enjoyed my insight on these top water baits.